Progress to report tonight on efforts to fix two of Jackson's well water systems. 12 News' Alex Love just, just uh, heard from the Public Works Director and joins us now live. Alex, what have you learned? So Dr. Williams Byron talked about the Sywell Road location getting its permanent pump delivered early, earlier today and is now being installed. That could take a couple of days and the substitute pump that was at the Sywell Road location was transferred over to the TV Road location where I'm standing and that's where crews are trying to get it back online so water can be restored here until a new one is, is delivered. Sywell's been running with a replacement pump and that one uh, headed to TV Road as I said to get it back online. To get the substitute pump in on TV Road will require reinstalling all the pipes that had to be taken out and, and welded back together, dragging on another week where 2,000 customers don't have normal water levels. Right now, we have no water that is flowing in Sour Road. So those areas that are high, uh, higher elevated will probably get affected the most. But still, there's going to be, when you have two well systems that are down at the same time, obviously you're not able to put as much pressure into the system through water as you would like. So there are going to be some areas that will be affected through this precautionary boil water notice, and that's why we want people to be on alert. are also having to work around the weather when it rains they have to stop for a while but so far here at tv road they are still go they are still going at it to get the substitute pump installed remember if you do have any water pressure and you're on these well systems try to conserve as much as possible so everyone else can try to get as much as they can live off tv road in jackson alex love 12 news